decades, a dedicated global network of UFO investigators has been lobbying world leaders for the release of all top secret files on UFOs and the presence of aliens here on Earth. Today, many are seeing signs that full disclosure may be just around the corner. It may be that this generation will be the first to answer that great and profound question, are we alone or not in the universe? What are the signs? When will it happen? And what will it mean for the future of the human race? Join us as we reveal shocking new evidence that world governments are preparing to disclose proof of alien life on unsealed alien files. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed. Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Phoenix, Arizona, March 13th, 1997. Residents of the desert capital watch in wonder as a dazzling array of lights appears in the evening sky. They're far away to the north and seem to hang motionless in the air. But to those closer to the phenomenon, the lights are hardly still. Near the Nevada border, onlookers report a massive V-shaped UFO lined with lights racing south across the sky. Thousands watch as it crosses a 300-mile stretch from Phoenix to Tucson. Dozens of eyewitnesses capture compelling footage of the object. The next morning, the Phoenix lights are a front-page story receiving national coverage. The event is a cause for excitement. A UFO event of this magnitude is incredibly rare. Usually, UFO sightings are seen in not-so-populated uh, areas, a couple witnesses, maybe four, maybe five, that's about it. But when you're talking about hundreds in a huge city like Phoenix, that's incredibly rare. The second rare point to this is the fact that it was shot by multiple cameras from multiple angles. Generally, you only have one visual piece of evidence to analyze. With the case of the Phoenix lights, you have multiple angles, multiple cameras, multiple witnesses, and that was all real. At last, there has been a mass sighting of an object with no earthly explanation, producing thousands of credible accounts and dozens of pieces of matching video evidence. Many are optimistic that this is the moment the world will finally accept that UFOs are real. But the USAF identified the second group of lights as flares dropped during a training exercise by jets flying out of Berry Goldwater Range in southwest Arizona. How can the government flatly deny evidence from so many witnesses? Just a few years earlier, another mass sighting, this time in Europe, promised to bring the moment of disclosure another step closer. Unsealed case file. The Belgian wave. You've been Belgium, November 29th, 1989. Two police officers patrolling a country road as night falls spot a nearby field lit by a light so bright they later claim they could have read a newspaper by it arriving at the scene they are shocked to see an enormous triangular ufo hovering overhead on its underside are lights at each of the three tips and a single red flashing beacon at its heart the ufo begins floating silently toward Yupin, with the police in pursuit there it hovers above the astonished town for over 30 minutes by the end of the night, an estimated 1,500 people, including at least 13 police officers, report a UFO encounter in one of history's biggest mass sightings. But for Belgium, it's only the beginning. For the next two years, the nation experiences an unending wave of UFO sightings that leave experts baffled. The unidentified craft fall into one of two categories, the triangle, like that scene at Yupin, and a second massive craft dubbed the Inverted Aircraft Carrier. By the time the wave comes to an end in 1991, some 13,000 people claim to have seen a UFO. Skeptics will claim the objects to be American stealth aircraft on routine maneuvers. But the U.S. Air Force denies any of its aircraft were operating in the area at the time. 
the Phoenix Lights, and the Belgian Wave represent two moments where world authorities could have ended the truth embargo once and for all. The question is, why didn't they? What do they have to fear? Coming up, we investigate two famous incidents where the U.S. government actually admitted the existence of UFOs, taking the world to the brink of full disclosure. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Many experts believe that world authorities are on the brink of disclosing everything they know about UFOs. But few in the public are aware that the U.S. government has in fact admitted to their existence on two occasions in the past. Incidents that would ultimately bring down a virtually impenetrable veil of secrecy. Roswell, New Mexico, July 2nd, 1947. Residents of this desert town spot a blazing disc-shaped object plummeting from the sky at impossible speed. Seconds later, it vanishes beyond a line of trees northwest of town. The next morning, a ranch worker discovers a trail of metallic debris not far from where the flying disc disappeared the night before. He collects some of the strange material and brings it to the local sheriff's office. The sheriff quickly notifies officials at Roswell Army Air Force Base that there has been some kind of air crash, and the base sends an investigator to examine the wreckage. A day later, the base commander makes an historic announcement. The Army stepped right up and admitted that there was a crash of flying saucer at Roswell and that they retrieved that actual disc itself. The announcement is a bombshell. America has recovered an alien spacecraft. The story quickly becomes international news. The military appears caught off guard by the intense scrutiny and scrambles to divert the world's attention. Shortly after the military said that they had a captured flying saucer, they completely rebutted their own story and said that it was nothing more than a weather balloon. But there was a problem that they have yet to address even over six decades later. There were witnesses, one of which said that there were bodies that were seen at Roswell Army Airfield. According to reports, there was much more to Roswell than what appeared in the press. Many eyewitnesses that night set out for the crash site to investigate, only to find it cordoned off by military roadblocks. The troops standing guard had a chilling message for any who approached. And he said, can't you get this through your head? You never saw anything. You were not there. You don't know anything. And he said, we can just take you out in the middle of this desert and no one will ever find your bodies. He said, you'll be nothing but bones and nobody will ever know what happened to you. In the end, the denial works, and the public furor over Roswell subsides. But just a few years later, an even bigger UFO incident will see the government on the hot seat once again. Unsealed case file. The Washington Flap. Washington, D.C., 1952. The Cold War is heating up. And the sky over the U.S. Capitol is the most heavily guarded airspace in the world. But on the night of July 12th, an air traffic controller at Washington National Airport detects seven unidentified objects on radar to the southwest of the city. A colleague makes visual contact with one of the objects, describing it as a bright orange light. Shortly after, a pilot taxiing for takeoff radios the tower to report six fast-moving lights in the sky nearby. Just then, the lights dart off in the direction of the White House and Capitol. One witness reports their movements to be completely radical compared to those of ordinary aircraft. Fighter jets scramble and set off in pursuit. But before they can intercept, the UFOs vanish from the sky, though it isn't the last Washington will see of the mysterious lights. Wave after wave will menace the area for the next three weeks before disappearing once and for all. A terrified city looks to the government for answers. Little did the people know, the American military was already engaged in Project Stork, a large-scale investigation into the nation's UFO sightings to establish some discernible pattern in their appearance. 
the study finds that the yearly number of UFO reports is rising at an alarming rate. Backed into a corner by the Washington flap, officials make a stunning announcement. It does not contain any pattern of purpose or of consistency that we can relate to any conceivable threat to the United States. It's a statement that implicitly confirms the existence of UFOs, but denies any specific knowledge of their nature or origin. Today, many experts believe the government was attempting to both quell public fears and at the same time protect a top secret weapons program based on technology recovered at Roswell. This technology would make America the most powerful nation on the planet. It would be another 40 years before the world would come this close to disclosure again. Coming up, we investigate a mass sighting that forced a government to release their most secret documents. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Many ufologists believe that world authorities are on the verge of disclosing everything they know about extraterrestrial life. The United States hinted at its existence in the 1950s, but the world would have to wait another 40 years for a nation to hand over its alien files for all to see. Somerset, England, March 30th, 1993. A police officer, accompanying a group of scouts on an outing, spots a bizarre aircraft he describes as two Concords flying side by side and joined together. Soon after, the Ministry of Defense UFO hotline is flooded with calls from across the country. In charge at the time is Nick Pope. This was a wave of sightings throughout the United Kingdom that took place over a period of around six hours. There were several dozen witnesses, including numerous police officers and Air Force personnel. An Air Force officer with eight years' experience described to me an object which he said was quite unlike anything that he had seen in his entire Air Force career. It's an enormous triangular UFO shining a narrow beam of light down to the ground as though searching for something. The giant craft moves slowly toward the base before suddenly deactivating its beam and darting off at an incredible rate of speed. When I interviewed the witness the morning after this sighting, his voice was still shaking. The Ministry of Defense has always been skeptical about the existence of UFOs. But the sheer number of witnesses to the Cosford incident leaves the ministry with no choice but to admit that an unidentified object or objects of unknown origin was operating over the UK. Cosford sparks an unprecedented public campaign for the release of everything the government knows about the possible presence of aliens in the nation's skies. In 1998, Prime Minister Tony Blair holds a closed-door meeting on the risks of revealing sensitive UFO information. He is told the ministry remains open-minded to the existence of alien life forms. The British government's attitude toward UFOs is changing and would culminate with the most sweeping act of disclosure to date. Unsealed case file. The British X-Files. The UK's Ministry of Defense began documenting the nation's UFO sightings in the 1950s. But all of this potentially explosive information would remain under lock and key. But in the year 2000, the British government passes the Freedom of Information Act, granting public access to nearly 60 years of the nation's X-Files. Upon their release, the millions of pages expose decades of systematic government misinformation on UFOs. There are also documents that show how consistently, over the years, the Ministry of Defense tried to downplay the extent of the UFO phenomenon and discredit uh, any media outlets that ran serious stories about UFOs and portray anyone who investigated UFOs as cranks. Among the documents are stunning accounts of UFOs directly endangering hundreds of lives, including a terrifying incident in 1995 in which a Boeing 737 approaching Manchester Airport nearly collided with the UFO. But of all the details to emerge, perhaps none is more alarming than the number of sightings over RAF Woodbridge. 
There are lots of rumors that there were nuclear weapons at Woodbridge. I think the number one issue here is technology. UFOs are interested in our missile sites, our nuclear weapons program, our military bases. The number one issue is defense. Britain's exiles are a shocking indictment of the government's willingness to mislead the public and only underscores the need for full disclosure. And that moment might be just around the corner. Coming up, the event that may force world leaders to at last reveal everything they know about extraterrestrial life. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Mounting evidence suggests that world authorities are on the brink of disclosing everything they know about UFOs and extraterrestrials. In fact, events are currently in motion that could bring this announcement at any moment. August 16th, 2012. A flying saucer appears in the sky over the planet Mars, racing toward the surface. But it's not a UFO. It's NASA's Curiosity rover. Her mission, to search the surface of Mars for signs of life. Recently, these efforts produced solid evidence that liquid water existed on Mars. For ufologists, this discovery had vast implications. We know from here on Earth that water is an essential element to creating life. Knowing that water existed on Mars at some point in liquid form, it just opens the possibilities of there being life on Mars. All the evidence points to the fact that Mars could have very well supported life in the past and maybe supports alien life to this very day. Many experts believe that with the discovery of water on Mars, finding life cannot be far off. And if NASA is allowed to go public with this information, they are convinced that even more profound revelations will soon follow, ending decades of speculation about the existence of alien life once and for all. But many experts urge caution. They warn that full disclosure may turn out to be a double-edged sword. Why might the revelation of life on Mars cause panic on Earth? Many people want to feel like we're the only game in town, or they're the only game in town. Any change to that paradigm of us being the center of the universe is very upsetting to some people. They might be a religion, they might be a government, what have you. And when those powers are threatened, they tend to fight back and fight for their control. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.